Good morning. Today is Saturday, the 23rd of May. And it's time for my Saturday morning sample series. Yay! I have a quick story. <laughs> so, I went into work Friday night. I usually get there at about 3 o'clock. I have to be there at 3.30. But I like to get there early and see if there's anything going on. I get there and I, one of my co-workers is off for the Labor Day weekend. He took a four-day weekend. And there's another guy there named Ben. I'm like, hey, Ben, what's up? You know, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to go next door and talk to Harry. Harry and I share an office and a computer. And Harry, since Corona's been going on, I'm sorry, COVID, has been going on. Harry's been working in another building because that, the people who work there are furloughed. So I go over to get a computer, sign in for work, and Harry's not there. I'm like, hmm. So I'm, I'm like, well, maybe he's in the bathroom, you know, knock on the door. No answer. Open it. Nope. Here is not in there. And then a, uh, a guy named Dan, a maintenance guy, goes, what's up? And I'm like, where's Harry? And he goes, he was here. I'm like, oh. Well, then I noticed the phone's ringing. Pick it up. It's Harry. Where are you? I got to go home early. I'm are you okay. Yeah, I'm fine. But our boss's boss called and said, hey, you can leave early. Congratulations. Have a good weekend. And I was like, I, I called him a bad name. <laughs> and he's like, I think they're going to let you off. And I go, I get off at midnight. They're not going to let me off. So I go back to the building, get the computer out of the drawer, you know, clock in, and I get a phone call from my boss's boss. Guess what? I got to leave at 11 o'clock. Woo, woo, instead of midnight. So, yay. I love my bosses. Okay, but it's time for my Saturday morning sample series. I got a lot to do tomorrow morning. Well, it is Saturday morning. I got a lot to do later on after I wake up because I have to go to Sam's, I got to go to the bank, got to get gas, you know, the weekend stuff. All right, so we're going to talk about my samples. There is one sample not in here and it's for the lips and I, if it was here, I would be doing this. And I really liked it. It, um... It was a tart lip balm, not a balm, gloss, a lip gloss. It was a light pinky color, and it matched my lips pretty well. It was a really nice nude shade. Um, I believe it's in a jacket, or it's in my car. I'll find it. But, yeah, I did like it, so, yay. Next, we have the Chic. Intuition Trial Pack. This is the pack it came in. Like this. On the back. And oh, here, look. Here it is. That's me. I do that. Here it is. It has the cream, hard cream around it. That when it gets wet, it goes on your skin and softens the hair on your legs or underarms and hold on and it makes it so you do not hurt yourself uh i love this this is an awesome razor now last week i did this intuition fab F-A-B. That is a horrible razor. <laughs> it's not a razor. 
you use it and the, the, oh look all the hair is still there so yeah I no never again um but yes this one the intuition with the coating awesome okay C and D vinyl Lux mini duo romantic seven day wear best selling shades you get a pink um, polish and a top coat. The black is top coat. And the first day I was like, oh my God, I love this. This is beautiful. I want, this is awesome. I'm going to be so happy with this. I know it. It hasn't even been seven days because I did this on Sunday. Look, they're all chipped. This one is completely gone. So, yeah, no, it's not a seven day. I really should have repainted probably by Wednesday, but I wanted to do the seven day wear, wear test. So, no, wouldn't buy that again. Will I continue to wear those polishes? Yes, I will. Especially the soft coat. I did like that. What is this? FBC Fast Beauty Company Drink Up Argon and Hibiscus Soothing Silver Sparkling Sheet Mask Made in the USA This was a very nice sheet mask I like this It was very enjoyable um, it smelled wonderful. I am really lisping and I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, it made my face feel so good. And I put it on my arms too and everything else. I loved it. I'm not going to lie. It was awesome. Uh, Lanza Healing Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. This packet is very tiny, but you know what? Two shampoos out of it for my head. Um, and the conditioner was very nice, too. Uh, would I buy that? <laughs> yeah. Will I buy it? Probably not, because I'm sure it's expensive. There it is. Okay. Good chemistry. Magnolia Violet? Is that the name of this? I don't know. I used a good uh, part of it. It was really nice. A little bit goes a long way. Did I forget a couple times to put it on this week? Yeah, I did. But uh, it was nice. Uh, would I buy it? Sure. Damn it. Okay. I forgot something else. I'm sorry. It's the, I got the wrapper, Cover Girl, Get In Line. It was a black eyeliner. It came in this. And it had, it was like the inkwell kind. You know, you take it out. I really didn't like it. Um, you put it under your eye. And... It looks fake. It looks really bad. And, and then it would run under, too. So you had to get a Q-tip, tip, dip it in uh, eye cleaner, go under, and do it again. This would have been great in high school because that was a that was the look. A lot of heavy eyeliner and a yeah. That was the look. So, but now, no, it's not. Um, and, uh, I probably wouldn't use it. I'm going to use it eventually because I don't believe in just letting products go. But, yeah. Alright. Put that there. The last one. This is ODE 
Olive Oil Body Balm, Citrus Aura. It is citrusy. I love using this. Look how little I've used. Alright. I put this on every day. I put this on my knees, my ankles, and my elbows. Because that's what is perpetually dry on me. But all I did was this. And that was enough for an elbow or a kneecap. And I, I, I didn't use a lot. I think if you use too much, it would have... That's, it's on there. Can you see? Nice and shiny. Um, I think it would have been too oily. So, that's just my opinion. Okay, so those were my reviews. Would I buy that? Um, yeah, but I'd be more inclined to wear it in winter. I think it, it's more for winter. But then again, I'd also need a bigger jar. Because then I have my legs who also get dry in winter. Okay, I'm pulling one thing out of the hair. I think I've used this. Dove Refresh and Care Volume Fullness Dry Shampoo. Was it this one? Or maybe the, the one I used had um had blue writing on it. I'm gonna get something else out of here because I emptied out a shampoo. <laughs> what is this? It's not a shampoo. Hold on, let me look. After party. Big Head TG After Party Smoothing Cream for Silky, Shiny, Healthy Looking Hair. Well, my hair's been crap lately because it's so darn long. So, okay, I'll use it. Okay, this one is for the face. I just pulled two things. I'm going to go back for a third. Oh, great, a lipstick. Color sensations. I don't know what this is. Bold, audacious, nude thrill. Color sensations. Ooh, it's definitely a nude. Look at that. Wait, okay. It's creamy. That's a little too nude. I'm gonna foresee this going into a uh, Franken lippy. Um, li this looks like I've opened it. I swear I haven't. What is this? Anti feathering lip liner. L'Oreal. I think it's the L'Oreal. Hey, these two go great together. What do you think? <sighs> I'm going to do that 80s makeup challenge. I'm going to pull one more out. And everything fell. This is a watermelon slice sheet mask. By a Pew or a Pay. 
I don't know. Hold on. A whole bunch of stuff fell out. Here it is. It's all in either... Yeah, it's in Korean. This is made in Korea. Um, yay! Mask. So there's three of those. Let's put this over here, shall we? Okay. I don't know how much is in the body container because I know I put... Yeah, there's something in here. I put, I put stuff in last week. I don't remember how much. This is Palmer's Coconut Oro Formula Body Lotion. Yay. There's more stuff in here. I'm praying they got it. Don't pull a uh, another what you do over another uh, razor. This is Uni Shower Sheets Large Body Wipe. Instantly clean, cleanses, refreshes, and deodorizes. No time to shower. No time, no shower, no worries. Tear open this oversized, super soft, moist wipe to instantly cleanse and refresh evenly every inch of your skin. Perfect for on-the-go cleaning. Have yoga, surfing, camping, travel, hiking. It goes on and on. Yeah, it's alcohol-free. Um, peppermint and citrus smell. Okay, I'm going to be out on Monday. Probably grilling. So I will use that then. What is this? Oh, boy. Oh, I do need to put more in here. I will do that this week. Okay. Burke's Bees Fluoride-Free Toothpaste. Purely white. Oh, and there's a coupon on back. And it expires at the end of next year. Uh, Zen Peppermint. That was the uh, flavor. Okay. Those are my uh, samples for next week. Uh, what do you think of the lips? That was not a good thing to do, was it? I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, you guys, have a good day. Enjoy the weekend if I don't see a lot of you. Lately, I haven't really been watching videos on the weekend. Um, not during the daytime, anyway. I usually binge in the middle of the night and do it. Okay, you guys, have a good day. I'm gonna go put all this stuff away and go to bed, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to turn.